Good evening, I'm Kelly Worthman. Thank you for joining us here on CBS News Colorado. Denver continues to manage a flood of migrants from the southern border. Just this week, the city says another 500 people are being helped on their journeys, mostly from Venezuela. Olivia Young did speak with some of those migrants today. And Olivia, you learned that people in some neighborhoods here around the city are also pitching in to help these newcomers. Yeah, they are, Kelly. And Denver is now sheltering almost 3,000 migrants. Now, the city tells me multiple buses arrive from Texas every day. And as that surge of arrivals continues, many migrants are congregating in Denver's Globeville neighborhood. I spoke with some of those families to learn more about their journey to Colorado. Migrants continue to pour into Denver from Venezuela, many with children as young as one. Over there, we have economic problems with the government of Maduro. There are criminal groups that threaten us. It was not safe for our family there. A dangerous and difficult journey through the jungle and the mountains. The kids get hungry and we sleep on the streets. The journey is very dangerous. It's complicated because everything is uncertain. The migrants describe walking through rivers, train hopping and encountering criminal groups. It was hard in the river. There were animals and dead people. At the end of a long journey, their struggles aren't over. We spent the last dollars of our savings on this food here. These families have been in Colorado for less than a week. But Anthony Flores says migrants like them have been gathering in this parking lot for months. You can see how more people have come over and been asking for help. When he can, he feeds them from his family's food truck. His parents once made a similar journey from Mexico. They are migrants. Um, I hope there was people like us who would help them, like they, we are helping them. These migrants say they're being put up in a nearby hotel by the city. Families with children can stay for 37 days, while adults are given shelter for two weeks. They're grateful for the help as they now search for work and stability. To come here, you need to think a lot because the journey is so dangerous and complicated and you can't just come and easily find work. Now, Denver says they're calling on communities, nonprofits and faith based groups around the state to help with that influx of migrants by volunteering and donating. Kelly. All right, Olivia, thank you for.